So you're considering a complete fire feature for Montana fire pits, or maybe you already ordered one. This video will explain everything you need to know about the process. First of all, here's what you can expect from Montana fire pits products. The tallest, brightest, hottest, most fuel efficient and natural looking flames in the industry. The designs are unique, distinctive, beautiful in all regards, highest quality craftsmanship, all made in the USA. Expect an incredible experience. After you've placed your order, you can get to work right away. The first thing to do is plan out your gas line. Get the gas line installed. Or if you're using a small propane tank, start figuring out where you want to hide it and how you want to get the propane hose underneath the fire feature. There's lots of ways to do that. Get creative. If you've gone with the Venture series, you can simply use the adjustable feet and raise the fire feature enough to get the propane line under it. Easy. Gas line size is important. We have a quick reference chart on our website that gives you a very rough estimate as to how big of a line you need. Ultimately, your plumber or gas pro will have the best answer for you. Tell the plumber the amount of BTUs your burner needs and that the pressure required is 7 to 10 inch water column for natural gas and 11 to 13 inch water column for propane. They should know what that means. If not, maybe you should look for another plumber. Let's talk gas tub. For bowls, put the gas tub right in the middle of where you want the bowl to sit and make the hole for the gas tub very small, about four inches in diameter. If you make the hole too big, the fire bowl might not cover it. For rectangular and square units, you have more wiggle room underneath so you can put the gas tub off center. Keep the gas tub nice and low in order to make the room for the plumbing. By the way, electronic ignition needs about 10 to 12 inches vertically, about the same horizontally. Ask a few friends if they can help you move the fire feature to its final location. It usually takes two to four strong folks to move this, depending on the size. You can also look up moving companies in your area. Call up a plumber or other type of licensed gas professional and schedule them to get the gas hooked up. Take your projected arrival date and tack on two weeks to make sure you get all your gear in time. Projected lead times are listed on the item's product page on our website. The delivery process. In most cases, the fire media, the burner package, and the fire feature all ship separately. The fire media will probably come first, followed by the burner package, and finally the fire feature. And we email tracking numbers for each shipment so that you can be prepared. Don't be concerned that the they come in different packages. This does not affect the complexity of the installation. Larger burners, you know, packages over 36 inches in diameter, and the fire feature itself ship freight. When the shipment arrives in your area, the dispatcher will call you to ask for a good delivery time. And when the truck arrives, they'll use the lift gate to lower the pallet to the ground. They'll use a pallet jack to roll the fire feature somewhere accessible that you prefer. Inspect for damage. If there is visible damage to the crate, decline the shipment. When in doubt, snap photos of any damage to the crate or the packaging. Uncrating. Take the top off, then the sides. You may need a screw gun or impact driver, maybe a crowbar. Be careful not to get rough with it. Take it slow, treat the fire feature. You would a beautiful piece of art, because that's what it is. If the fire feature is wrapped in a protective layer, don't remove it until after it's installed. Avoid unwanted damage. Take extreme care. Don't rush. You'll be happy with the final results. Installation. The plumber or gas professional will make the connections, and we use the best industry standard fittings so that this should be a walk in the park. It's very important that you let the installer know that the key valve should be primed before it's installed. The easiest way to do this is with a vise and vise grips. Work the valve back and forth to break the seal. Help the plumber out, get a soft towel, place it on the fire feature, instruct them to put the wrench and other tools on the towel. Would you put a big old wrench on a brand new car? Probably not. It's also important that the plate does not make contact with the top of the fire feature. It may scratch it up. Tell them to set the plate on the towel while making the connection to the burner. There are two types of complete systems that should be anchored. Legacy fire bowl and legacy fire table. If that's what you ordered, watch the video on how to anchor the bowl to your patio or deck. You're now ready to light it up. If you went with the electronic ignition, just flip the switch or use the dial timer or the phone, however you set up your system. If you're using the push button ignition, just turn the key and push the button down. By the way, push button ignitions don't really work well with concrete units. For match lit, turn the key counterclockwise just a bit. You'll hear the gas coming out. Have the lighter ready and light one of the jets. You can gradually turn the key counterclockwise to get more gas flowing. 
To help the flame along, you can also blow the flame towards the rest of the jets to help it catch on. If the fire blows out, turn the gas off immediately using the key valve. Maintenance. How do you keep your fire feature looking awesome and working well? Here are some tips. If it's windy, avoid running the fire at 100% for more than 30 minutes straight. The direct flame hitting the inside ledge can cause discoloration over time. So just keep an eye on it. Adding flame guards or raising the burner can help. Every so often you should wipe the fire feature down with a rag and mild cleaner. We use glass cleaner on these all the time and we like the results. Don't place metal objects on the surface. Again, treat it like you would a brand new shiny car. If you spill food or drink on it, we recommend you clean it up within a few minutes. I personally tested red wine on a white concrete fire table, and as long as you wipe it up within a few minutes, it will come up clean. And just about all our complete systems can be refinished. That's right, if say 10 years from now, you decide you want the fire feature to look brand new, there's most likely a simple way to refinish it. Steel can be repowder coated by your local powder coating company. Some of the concrete units can be sanded down and resealed. If you'd like to know the specifics, check out the care and maintenance section of the fire feature you purchased. Cover the burn area to keep the water out of the jets. If prolonged precipitation is expected, such as for the winter months, we recommend a soft cover to cover the entire fire feature. For all the up-to-date maintenance information, visit montanafirepits.com learn. Now get excited, this fire feature is a life-changing piece of equipment. Light it up often, stay out a little longer, tell more stories, spend more time with that good book or those new friends. You know, thanks for joining the Montana Fire Pits family. A few months after you order, you'll see an email asking for some feedback. And we'd love to hear from you. So snap a few pictures, send them to info at montanafirepits.com, and don't forget to check out our Spotify playlist. That's it. We'll see you around the fire.